As we continue to study 1 Samuel chapter 19, we continue to see Saul's downward spiral in sin. And we must see that embedded within the nature of sin is destruction. God told Adam, if you eat of the fruit of this tree, you will surely die. Psalm 7 verse 14 says, Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole that he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own skull his violence descends. We see Saul's sin directed at God's anointed one, David. But the recurring theme in this passage is David's escapes. He escapes through Jonathan's covenant. He escapes through his own courage. And he even escapes through McCall's conniving. In other words, God uses all kinds of ways that we know about and ones that we're even not aware of in order to protect us in order to protect his anointed one, to get him to the throne. Ultimately, it's all of God. And we see that in this last way of God protecting David through the spirits confronting. You know, Christ was also protected from people's rage against him so that he could reign through his cross and resurrection. Think about this. We see Christ preserved and protected from King Herod in Matthew chapter 2. We see Christ preserved and protected from Satan himself in Matthew chapter 4. We see the murderous plot of the Pharisees and the Herodians stayed in Mark chapter 3. In Luke chapter 4, when Jesus unrolls the scroll in the temple and declares himself to be the Messiah, the passage says that the people were filled with wrath and rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which their towns were built so that they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went away. In John chapter 7, it says that they were seeking to arrest him, but no one could lay a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. In John chapter 10, verse 39, we read, And they sought to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. And what we need to realize as God's church is that God preserved Christ, provided ways of escape for him so that Christ could fulfill God's purpose for his life. And also, he will preserve those who are in Christ so that they will persevere in his purpose for them. Christ reigns over hard times, evil times in our lives so that we might press into him and fulfill his purpose for our lives. We see this all throughout the New Testament. Paul was let down in a basket as a way of escape so that he continued to preach the gospel. Peter walked through open prison doors on the eve of his execution date. And there are millions and millions more stories of modern day Christians who were delivered by God so that they could continue his work. As you pray today, please remember Doug Lee and his family, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Maya Lifeward broadcast that's heard throughout Guatemala.